Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm going to talk to you about a question that I do get asked quite a lot and the question is how long does it take to learn an instrument? Just before I go any further into the video I just want to put a little quick disclaimer out there saying that this is a kind of a talking informational video. I'm not going to be doing any violin or piano playing in here so if you came here to see me play something on the violin or piano then this video isn't for you but if you want to know the answer to how long does it take to learn to play an instrument then please keep watching. So this is a question that I get asked a lot and it's coming up a lot underneath the comments of my YouTube videos. How long does it take to learn to play an instrument? So if I'm looking on my phone here, it's just because I've made a few notes that I want to point out. So as I said, I get asked this question a lot. It's a very difficult question to answer. It depends on individual ability. It depends how much that person practices and how much time they dedicate to said instrument and how much natural flair or natural talent, you might want to say, that person has for the instrument. But if you want to put a number on it, so assuming that somebody is dedicated, assuming that someone practices, assuming that someone's got kind of all the right skill set for it, I guess, which is pretty much most people that, that play. There are very, very few people that ever try and play an instrument that work really, really hard at it and still can't do it. That's kind of, that's very, very rare. So I would say, to put a number on it for you, it would take five years. This is all in my personal opinion as well. Some of you out there might be completely disagreeing with me, in which case, click off the video now, don't watch it, but this is my personal opinion. So I think it takes five years to get to a decent, medium, intermediate level where I would say 95% of people that reach that level would probably be happy. 95% of those people who don't want to use it as a career, obviously. So all the people that want to use it as a career, like me, put us to a separate side. But you know, for people like you guys that are probably watching this video. So you guys, 95% of you lot would probably be happy getting to that intermediate kind of uh, middle of the road kind of level. So that would be where you pretty much learn all the things that you need to know in music. So when you look at a piece of music, you can recognize all the notes, all the dots, all the lines, all the dashes, all the markings, all the expression, all the dynamics, and all that kind of thing. There's nothing on the music that you haven't seen come across before or don't know what it is. Um, you're also at a level where you can read music pretty, pretty well. well I should think that you would be by then anyway but you'll be at a level where you can read music as well. So reading music isn't gonna be a problem for you and you can do that reasonably well. So in other words, you can pretty much pick up any piece of music you wanna play and just start rolling with it. So that's what I would consider to be kind of an intermediate level. You can pretty much play whatever you like, I guess within reason. You could probably even still play the harder stuff. It would just take you a lot longer. But on the face of it, you can play whatever you like without any problem and 95% people would be satisfied with that. It would then take, I'd say, a further five years. So I'd say it would take roughly around about 10 years to become master or pro level. So in other words, the extra five, when you get to year five, the extra six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, those latter years of your learning are kind of for the, there isn't anything you need to know about music as such, you know, what, what does that mean on the music? Well, how do I play this, etc., etc. But it's more about how to get the most out of the music. And that's the kind of level that most people don't need to go far beyond, or most people don't want to go into because you only really go into that area if you want to use it as a career, i.e. somebody like myself or another professional mu musician, for example, teacher, um, you know, uh, Violin, world class violinists, pianists and all that kind of thing. So that is when you're looking beyond the music and you're learning really how to play the music. Some of you guys might, out, um, some of you guys out there watching this might be thinking, yeah, but I want to do that as well. And that's fine. You can do that. I'm just saying that the first five years, the intermediate level is at a level that, you know, you'd be thinking, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah. Some of you might think, but yeah, I want to just do a little bit more and that's fine. That's probably the stage then when you might need to find yourself a teacher, somebody who knows what they're talking about and somebody who can help you get the most out of that. Finding a teacher to help you with that part of the music is very, very difficult because 
in, it's another controversial subject, but a lot of teachers just aren't that great at, at doing that. So it's finding one that can do that, that can really, really help you get the most of that. But again, most people will want to do that if they're becoming a professional musician. And that requires a whole different area of dedication and study and time and effort because you're not really learning as such. There's nothing for the teacher to teach you but it's more kind of coaching or getting the best out of you. If you are self-learning, so say for example, you are, you're learning on YouTube, you're learning online videos, you, some of you out there might be even learning from my books. I will put a link to the videos underneath. If any of you guys are self-learning at home, for example, then I still think that personally speaking, so I'm only speaking for my online books and my online videos that I have done. I don't know about what else is out there, but just speaking from my personal experience and, and, and books and things, I would say that you can, you can quite happily get to that intermediate level. That might take you a little bit longer than, than five years, you know, again, how long is a piece of string depends on you depends on how quickly you learn it depends on how much you practice if you're adults as well sometimes practicing is a lot easier when you're younger than it is when you're older because just life gets in the way work family holidays yeah etc etc all the usual stuff but assuming that you're not taking like a six month break or something like that and you're, you're plugging along with it i would say it would probably take someone generically roughly about five years to get to that intermediate level and my course will take you to that level as well. So I would say that by the time you finish that my books, most people would have been given enough skill set from those books to be able to kind of go away and do whatever it is that they, you know, they want to do with musical life. The other thing that I just wanted to quickly point out as well is that it really doesn't matter on age. It is all about aptitude. It's all about how much somebody practices and how much work they put in. I think, again, people put so much stigmatism on kids learning. And yes, kids do learn very fast just because they're younger, their brains are more susceptible to soaking up information and that kind of thing. But, you know, there are still some very clever adult people out there that can learn just as fast. In my, in my teaching career, I've taught some children that have picked things up very, very quickly. I've taught some children that haven't picked things up very quickly at all. I've taught some adults that have picked things up even quicker than some children that are very good at picking things up. I've taught some adults that aren't very good at picking things up so quickly. So it's just horses for courses. So again, age doesn't matter. You're still learning the same thing. If I was teaching a five-year-old and I was teaching a 55-year-old, I'd still be teaching you exactly the same thing. That 50-year-old, 55-year-old person may even be picking it up a lot faster than the five-year-old child. So just because a child might be five years old and I might be teaching them doesn't necessarily mean to say that they're gonna pick it up quicker because again, it depends on your natural flair for the subject depends how much you practice, whether you're interested, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There are so many factors around it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have, have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have found it informative, but like I said, I just wanted to kind of bust a few myths, so to speak, on you know the, the question about how long is it gonna to take to learn an instrument and things like that. So yes, how long is a piece of string, but if I had to put a number on it, then yeah, five years for intermediate, 10 years plus, for, for pro. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.